Alan Rudnick's here to answer your questions. Do we have any callers yet? Yeah. Okay. First caller on the line is Tracy. Tracy, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Hi, good morning. What's your question? Well, I have a cat that's in heat, and uh, the cat was lost, and, but I found the cat in a, a place the Humane Society, and they paid $5 and $10 in plastic dumps. But my cat returned to me, and um, she had long hair, fast and a short-haired short cat, and um, he returned to my apartment at 605 Madison Pass, but I'm waiting for my Section 8 to be concluded. But that's the cat keeps on... Uh, Complaining, I think my cat's a diabetic cat, and uh, he he keeps on um, like um, saying uh, he keeps talking back and he keeps growling. And I found him at the jeweler, at Curse Jeweler. Sorry, and, and he uh, he's a very good cat, but he's short-haired, but he has long hair too. And he keeps on uh, he keeps on saying that he uh, has diabetes and through the wall. I visited him eight times, and I had to pay a $50,000 vet bill for him and me, Skovna. My sister, Stephanie, uh, she bought a pet, uh, but she got a DWI. And uh, I was born at the hospital. My sister's born at St. Davis. But my cat is a long-haired cat, but he's short-haired, too. And he keeps on going. He just, uh, his name is not the cat, but his name is Otis. Okay. And he, Tracy, what, so what's your question? Well, I'm wondering, what do I do to... Uh, Get, uh, I need to give the cat a flea bath, but he went to my apartment, the cat, but he has uh, long hair and short hair. Should I, uh, I got a, like a dog grooming tool, and he keeps on, um, he keeps on having diabetic problems, my cat, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he, uh, he's a short haired cat, but he, like, uh, my cat, I'm wondering, uh, should I give him, uh, should I buy him a heart uh, flea collar or no? Um, I don't like flea collars as much, but at PetSmart you can get um, some topical flea preventions. The ones that I usually will recommend um, from the over-the-counter ones are Frontline and Advantage, um, oh, okay. and they last yeah, for a month. In my bathtub at Laca Vista. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I hope that well, helps. I used to want to spank her but that's the guy that showed up out of nowhere, and uh, he's a very good cat. And I'm uh, sorry. Uh, no. But uh, he's a he's a short haired cat. I bought him a, a flea a flea collar from Heart, and uh, I gave him a bath in '87. But he's a nice cat. Yeah. He's a he's got a some fleas. I don't know. I put him a Heart's cat, and he he disappeared. And uh, my mom comes over, but he's been uh, he's been staying. I think at Father Joe's house or some other house, and I found him. About uh, eight years ago today, and I visited him eight times with the Humane Society. Okay. But I, yeah, I bought him. I bought him a flea collar, heart, and uh, a flea brush, okay. and uh, some kind of. Flea I'm glad shampoo. you found him. Well, good. Well, Tracy, we're we're all out of time, but good luck. I'm the, I hope that helps. Oh, thanks. I hope so too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> oh. Please can be a big problem. You're not a huge fan of the heart collar, but you say a topical. Topicals, um, a lot of the veterinary specific ones, prescriptions work better, but okay. um, as far as topicals go, those are the two that I like. Right. <laughs> thanks, Tracy, for calling in, and uh, thanks, Dr. Rudnick, for, for coming in and you know, answering that call.